The Reminders app received a much needed update and all around redesign. And so in this video, we're gonna take a look at what's new in Reminders for iOS 13. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Reminders in iOS 12 and earlier offered a simple no frills list view that organized items by list. But iOS 13 has an entirely new interface that's easier to use and a bit more intuitive. There are four main reminders section, today, scheduled, all, and flagged. And these sections incorporate all of your reminders across all lists so that you can see everything that needs to be done regardless of what list it belongs to. The today section is reserved for all reminders that need to be addressed immediately or today. A scheduled section is reserved for all reminders that have a specific date attached to them, and the all section is used to view everything all at once. And if you added a flag to any of the reminders, they will obviously go into the flag section to help separate them out. Along with the four main sections where you can access all of your reminders organized into different views, you can also see your content organized per list using the my list section. You can also use reminders in either dark mode or light mode, and there are unique looks for both. So to create a new list, simply tap on the add list button in the bottom right corner. You can then name your list and even add an icon to help organize your lists. For example, I'm creating a grocery list so I can choose this carrot icon to signify groceries and then even change the color of it too. Once your list is created, you can begin adding reminders. And then if you tap on the ellipsis in the top right corner, you'll have more options like adding people to the list, edit the appearance, edit reminders, etc. When creating a reminder in the reminders app in iOS 13, there's a new quick access toolbar that lets you add times, locations, and more to your reminders. There are four available icons, each with a different function. The clock icon lets you schedule a reminder for today, tomorrow, this weekend, or a custom date. The arrow icon lets you set a reminder to activate when you're arriving home, getting in a car, getting out of the car, or arriving to any custom location that you choose. The flag icon lets you add a flag to a reminder so it's easier to locate. And the camera icon allows you to take a photo to add to a reminder, add a photo from your photo library, or scan a document. Adding attachments to reminders is a new feature in iOS 13. Reminders can also be annotated with notes and URLs to provide additional context, and each reminder can also have subtasks associated with it. Reminders can also be set to repeat, and you can adjust the priority for each one, choosing between low, medium, high, or none. If you have a lot of different lists and want to organize them even further, you can actually nest or group lists together. Assuming that it makes sense to group those lists together, all you have to do to create a group is either drag and drop one list on top of another, or tap edit in the top right corner and then tap add group in the bottom left. You can also nest reminders together too by doing the same drag and drop gesture. Finally, reminders features enhanced Siri intelligence in iOS 13, which means you can type longer, more descriptive sentences that reminders will automatically understand and then use that to provide relevant suggestions. Siri will also suggest reminders for you. So when you're chatting with someone messages, for example, and someone mentions going out and getting lunch at noon tomorrow, Siri might offer a suggestion for you to create a reminder. So let me know your thoughts on the new Reminders app and whether or not you might use this app even more now because of the redesign in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.